Well, hello there, guys, and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so as I was doing my final Battleground stream, as we know it, because Battlegrounds are about to get jacked and stacked, and the very least for the you know top uh, tier players, uh, we got some new and interesting leaks. So let's cover them. In this case, we are taking a look at MCOC Greater Banquet Crystal for the year 2023. So this is the replacement to the gifting crystals and uh, this is going to play a very very big part and obviously you know mcoc player leaked it so shout out to him on x and i found it in my just the lion's chat really so uh let's break it down first this crystal will guarantee a minimum of 250 000 gold tier 5 or 6 class iso chunks and a bonus item the bonus item can be one of the following tier 2 alpha catalyst jesus you spent 300 units to get tier 12 catalyst in 2023. You know, it's fucking disgusting to have it in there. But let's carry on. A tier 3 alpha catalyst or fragments. Tier 4 alpha catalyst fragments. So that is already a confirmation that uh, we're going to have whales with like a full profile of rank uh, 3 7 stars by the end of Bank Earth. For sure. And obviously, you know, we kind of expected that unfortunately or fortunately but there will be some whales that will you know drop 100k on it and then we'll have like three or four or five or six or seven seven star rank threes which is going to be absolutely terrifying to go up against but okay six star plus five signature stones that's kind of meh six star signature stone crystals definitely meh six star awakening gem whatever six star awakening gem crystal even bigger whatever six or seven star hero crystal shards at least no four four or five star hero crystal shards i suppose um but still, you know, 7 star crystal shards are cool. Titan crystal shards, that's new and that's going to be valuable. We'll have to see the quantities. 6 star nexus hero crystal, whatever. 7 star gifted guardians crystal is going to be quite interesting with that one. And a paragon gifted guardians crystal. A tier 5 or 6 basic catalyst or fragments. A tier 5 class catalyst selector, kind of meh. Tier 6 class catalyst or fragments. Or a five or six star trophy champion selector. So this is one of the changes as well. So five or six star trophy champion selector, like Vision Can, Tanis, Wolverine X, and Jessica Jones. Uh, you will be able to select whichever one you're missing. Like for instance, for me, this is kind of interesting because that means I can finally get my six star vision. And I will feel so gratified that I never bought any of those crappy vision offers if I end up getting a vision this way. Just putting it out there. So if you're missing any of the, you know five or six star trophy champions then you know this is going to be a solid way to acquire it in addition to that we're going to have a seven star kang or thanos which obviously means jack it really i mean like it's a cool thing to have but what are you going to do with seven star kang and thanos this bit you know i'm kind of slightly disappointed i was hoping they're going to add in seven star jessica joneses or seven star wolverine weapon X's in that but you know they're starting it off with kang and thanos and uh you know Kind of meaningless. Like you can pull the seven star Thanos, what you can do with it? You know? You can pull the seven star can what you can do with it. Like we I get that, you know, those are trophy champions and we have them like that, but since we have had trophy champions like Wolverine Weapon X and Jessica Jones that have actual, you know, usable uses in the game, I look at Kang and Thanos as kind of like bleh, whatever. Anyways, let's move on. We have gifted guardians. So gifted guardians crystal that you will be able to get in a seven star crystal form or also a paragon crystal. And that will contain moon dragon, Sandman, Diablo, Adam Warlock, Shocker and Professor X. And uh, this is a very juicy crystal, undoubtedly, like, cause uh, yeah, all of these seven stars, you know, uh, they are not necessarily the top of the creme de la creme, but they're definitely solid champions. There is not a single champion that would be kind of like a dud, you know? There's not a single uh, Namor in there or something like that. Uh, Moon Dragon, you know, almost all of these champions would much benefit from a dupe, though, or a high sig in some cases. But, you know, in case of Professor X, I guess not so much. Diablo is definitely playable, as is also. But here we are. So, uh, we're going to get a 7 star Shoker, Professor X, Adam Warlock, Diablo, Sandman, Moon Dragons in game. That is also definitely exciting. Now, overall, though, if we need to be honest about Banquet Crystals, 
they're massive, massive risk. Because, you know, there's still going to be the 300 units, right? And the fact that you can get tier 2 alpha catalyst in it, tier 2 alpha catalyst is like garbage these days. Like, you wouldn't pay 10 units for it, let alone 300 units. You can't use them fast enough, and you can't sell them for tier 3 fragments. You know, that's really crap. Also, you know, a ton of 6-star stuff for top-end players, it's just a hindrance. You know, none of the people who will whale properly of the Gifting Crystals really will care that much about getting, like, some 6-star signature stones or 6-star signature stone crystals or 6-star shards or a 6-star Nexus crystal or, you know, stuff like that. Or tier 5 class catalyst crystal. At least half of that crystal minimum is, is you know, a definite dud. Now, the fact that there are unique 7-star champions in it, uh, seven star trophy champions, tier four alpha catalyst fragments, which is you know a resource we have yet to be able to earn in the game, and also tier uh, six CC and all the other stuff. That's fine. Um, kind of surprised not to see seven star awakening gem. I'm gonna lie. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of expected it to be there, with like a tiny, tiny, tiny chance, or maybe a seven star six stone. Like you know, some tiny amount of seven star six stones. Maybe not Awakening Gem, but Six Stones for sure. I thought, you know, they would have added it there. But, what do you guys think? Have they enticed you? Are you excited? Because, again, keep in mind, these will be 300 units. And obviously, you know, pulling uh, a 7-star, you know, Moon Dragon or Sandman or something like that. Very, very cool. 7-star Titan Shards. Very, very cool. But at the same time, there's just so many things you wish you can dodge. Like, honestly, you know, I want to see the face of every person who, like, opens these and gets, like, a couple of tier 2 alphas. The tier 2 alphas are so crap. It's like, why? Well, at least there's no tier 4 CC in it anymore. That was a thing last year. But yeah, tier 2 alphas, though, why? They're just plain mean. And I bet they will have like a huge, huge percentage. Like, I bet tier 2 alpha is going to be like every fourth crystal of every fifth crystal. 20% tier 2 alpha. Uh, but, you know, obviously this is still going to be surrounded with the rest of the banquet structure. So that's another thing. Even if you are not overly excited by the banquet crystals themselves, keep in mind that by opening these, you will automatically be able to generate more rewards and earn more of these and stuff like that. So, Pretty much everybody that plays actively, I'm sure that you guys know it, but in case, you know, maybe some people have forgotten or maybe some people have joined in the recent year and haven't experienced a banquet event as such. There's always like a solo and alliance event where as you earn points by effectively spending units and opening these crystals and stuff like that, uh, you earn milestones, which also give you some units back, which give you some catalysts and materials back and shards back and some other juicy rewards. And on top of it all, you will also earn more of these gifting crystals. So typically, most of the time, it kind of works out where you need to spend around 3,000 to 4,000 units. And you kind of get all the milestones that otherwise would be, you know, required to spend like 15,000 units for. Because you keep earning these rewards as you go along. And in the end, you end up opening a healthy chunk of these for very, very few units actually spent on your account. Where... You know, for instance, you spend 4,000 units, but you earn back 3,000 units from that. And then you open more crystals and you get more points and stuff like that. So, it, you know, without a doubt, these banquet points are lucrative for sure. As in for your accounts, you can get a lot for little, even if you don't whale. You do have to have something, though. You know, you do need to have some unit stash for this banquet event. But... Let's see how overall Kabam manages it. We know for a fact that there's going to be a nameless uh, guillotine piece, deathless guillotine piece, or whatever they call it now. Uh, so we're gonna need to get to that milestone for sure if you have been collecting those. And uh, overall, yeah, it definitely will be quite interesting to see the level of rewards in the solo events and everywhere else. Because uh, this is the whale fiesta. This is the time of the year Kabam makes their money. This is how they earn their, you know, Christmas bonuses and finances the game in large part. Kabam income during the banquet event and gifting event just skyrockets every single year. And um, these crystals are a large, large reason why, plus the solo and alliance events for banquet. 
So let me know what you guys think about the new crystal and I will catch you guys soon. Bye bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the